Hey everybody, I'm Paul, and I am here with... Hi, I'm Kevin. Kevin Cole. If you don't know Kevin, Kevin is our friend. Hi. And Kevin makes video games. He also makes a podcast with us called Pretend Friends. Pre Pretend Friends. <laughs> and uh, if you haven't listened to either of those things, um, or haven't listened to that, uh, then, you, then you don't know Kevin, but he's very funny and very cool. And he also makes video games like the one we're playing today. We're playing Hack. We're playing Hack. This is Kevin's we're game. It. We're playing it. Uh, so uh, uh, go ahead. Paul, you've played this game before. You were on the you were on the beta squad. You gave me a lot of good bugs to fix. I did. I did. <laughs> uh, I played a lot of my hours of this game. I played before it ever even came out. Yeah. Um, um, but I did so, play. I did play it on a stream uh, previously where I beat it. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's on that's on this channel as well. If yes. you want more hack content <laughs> that is on the continued channel. It was the only time I've beaten this game. And uh, we were thinking the game's on sale, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it is on sale. Holy shit. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> as of right now, the game is on sale. And when this video comes out, the game will be on sale. So if you like it, you should check it out. Uh, it's at yeah. a, it's at 50 percent off, right? Yeah. So right now, uh, the game is on sale on itch.io. Uh, you can buy it for seven dollars and uh, forty nine cents. That's half off from uh, what from like the normal price, which is fifteen bucks. Uh, if you buy it on itch, uh, you get a Steam key, so it's like you bought it on Steam, except uh, you help out the developers, uh, me, uh, my friend Hadley, who who is also on Pretend Friends. Um, you help us out a little bit more, and um, yeah, uh, I mean, I've I've. I've complained about Steam a bit on on uh, tw on Twitter because they've been doing some dumb stuff, but I won't really get into that right now. <laughs> but if you want to support, uh, if you want to support Itch, Itch is a really awesome site with a lot of awesome games. Um, the most of the sales will be over because they end at midnight as we're recording this, but they will be. Uh, but there are lots of good games on Itch. I'm extending my hack sale out. Yeah, please buy my game. <laughs> yeah, you should if you like this this playthrough today we're gonna just yeah. do i i don't know that we'll beat it today but we are going to do at least a couple runs well well i was gonna say paul you've already beat this game um if do you want do you want to pump up the difficulty a little bit do you want to <laughs> no. experiment around okay okay so here's here, first <laughs> off i think i think hack is a pretty tough game uh <laughs> and and it's purposely so <laughs> Um, that's true yeah. it's it's supposed to be pretty tough i only beat it once and i only beat it because so we're on the character selection screen here so the way hack works is uh every run you're presented with three character choices and yeah. you pick your player character from these so uh and due to uh kevin has dealt with my uh cheesing of the sorcerer <laughs> class yeah paul paul's uh actions as a sorcerer have completely destroyed any like uh, uh, infinite combos that sorcerers were abusing. Yeah, the last couple months. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I kind of figured out how to play sorcerer. And you have you have a lot of good options here right now. You've got a you've got a tanky werewolf. Mm -hmm. You've got um you got a hoodoo sorcerer. Mm -hmm. uh, and who, you've got who is, who is a little fighty because he's got an ignite weapon on his yeah. on his skill sets. And you've got a and you've got another werewolf who's buff and a lizard, so that's pretty good. <laughs> I do like the lizard person. That's very intriguing. I saved, so there's a save button down here where you can, yeah. if you like a, a character, you can click to save them uh, yeah. for later runs. And I apparently saved uh, Old Do Bow Wolf. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of wolves. You got Naimu Cloak Wolf, and uh, what's the last one? Uh, it looks like Ninik Blood Toad. Nick, right, right. Nick, Nick, because it's N N I Q. Oh yeah, Nick. So a lot of the uh, I, I guess I'm kind of like uh, playing off of a joke you and Sam Sykes like a lot, which is the the apostrophe. Yes, to, to make it a fantasy name. <laughs> to make it a fantasy name. So that's Nick. Um, there's a Kevin in there somewhere too. There's probably a pot wool. With like like K K apostrophe V N. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin. 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 Uh, I, I I'm tempted to go with one of the werewolves because I I think I should switch it up. Although I will say this. I do think that this wizard is off type for me because again, this is a this is a slashy fighty sort of Well, you do have you do have that ice staff in True. your in your inventory. So, uh, yeah, the 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 wizard the wizard's pretty good. Um I'll do Bow Wolf and Sprinkles. Uh that's a pretty good that's like a pretty good one too. Having health is like really good in this game, but you get almost the same amount of health uh for picking Nick Bloodtoad. Let's say, hold on, let me go back. 
you're right. So, but I love the cat. I like the cat as a sidekick. I think the cat does a really good job of like kind of DPSing for you. Yeah. So in um in hack you don't make your character because I could spend forever on a character creator screen and never get anything done. Like in in a lot of games, like I do like making characters, but sometimes that's not like what the game is supposed to be. Right. So I decided to uh in this game you get like random uh, shuffled up characters, which lets you try things you wouldn't normally try. Like Paul really likes playing sorcerers, but this maybe isn't the best sorcerer for him. Um, but he's got some good werewolf options, so he's going to go outside of his comfort zone and maybe play a werewolf. Maybe I, I don't know. I could make. I could make this wizard work. <laughs> I would instantly yes. oh, I yeah, would instantly swap in that oak staff to get the uh, to get the extra <laughs> magical ability. Right. Use um, the use the fire buff on your dog and use the quick step to run away. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so oh, I could. Man. But you do have you do have a quick stepping werewolf in Odu in Odu Bow Wolf. Yeah, so. I think I'm gonna try it just to play off type from what I normally play. I think I'm gonna be Aldo. Nice. Oh, and you right. already got some Chivos. Lucky you. What? Why? Uh, I fixed a bug where one of the Chivos wasn't happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I already beat this. I shouldn't be getting that first one, but I guess I I guess it regave it to me. Oh, uh, shit. Perseverance used to not trigger because it w the game wasn't keeping a proper death count. I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> you guys are getting the inside. <laughs> well, this will be a little bit of a director's commentary with this yeah. game. All right. So we got a pumpkin just showed up. So it's I, nice and rainy. It's nice and rainy. I don't typically play as as this guy, so I'm a little I'm a little so unsure. So right away, you got to whip that dagger. Out yeah, of I'm him. flipping a dagger at his face. Boom! That's a hit. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd give them a little bit of a weight. So, um, werewolves gain their end, their MP back by being hit. Yeah. So, uh, I, I see you running away and playing cautious. You kind of just want to throw yourself right in there. You have all this HP. Um, uh -huh. like, see, you I, can, I, as a wizard player, I tend to stay back. So you can, so you can take a step forward to this guy and then quick step uh like right there like into him and then dash cut through him so your cat isn't blocked but what about my so when when's the good time to use my form um when you're surrounded is a good time to use your form because your form's gonna drain mp every every turn you take uh-huh uh so when you're surrounded by dudes you're getting hit a lot right right oh we and, got some glitchiness going on over here oh yeah you got you got the glitch warp what the fuck is that? I've never encountered that, Kevin. Oh, for real? Okay, yeah, because you kind of you, you blast through the game. So uh, once you beat every um, once you beat every boss on a on a level, mm -hmm. um, instead of having to do that level over again, you can warp directly to that boss, and that'll give you a bunch of um, randomly selected quirks. Okay. And it's good if you want to try and practice the later um, the later bosses. Yeah, the later parts of the game. So you can take that. That'll warp you directly to the boss uh, with a, a slightly souped up character. Having not um, played uh, this character type much, I think I'm going to stick to the yeah, early yeah. levels here. Yeah, in general, uh, in general, it's better to to take your time, but uh, it's it can get you know it's it's good it's fun to practice the bosses. I think. I think a fun thing you did with this game uh, that I think people might not recognize. There's a lot of uh, environmental stuff that I don't think is quite op like it's obvious once you start playing it a bit but like when you first start playing it you probably wouldn't think oh I my line of sight is obstructed by yeah. these, by these reads <laughs> like obviously you can see it here like I have full line of sight up here and down here and over here and then you jump in here and you're like oh okay it's blocked if you know how to read the game but when you're first playing it I don't think you pick up on that right away that that's like really nostalgic for me because like that was one of the first things I uh, I implemented in the game was uh -huh. the line of sight thing. Like I didn't know what kind of game this was gonna be. Like when I when I first made this game, I thought it was gonna be like I I designed it f for like a phone interface. Uh huh. Um, and uh, the the actions were like uh the senses so you could like smell stuff and taste stuff right right and i didn't really know what to do with any of that i was just kind of fucking around Ooh, good good hits by your cat yeah i was kind of letting um, him do all the tanking there <laughs> yeah um ooh, okay so you got a cavalry home mm. that's gonna increase your accuracy um, but that's probably not as useful for me at, since i want to get up and up close and personal right yeah um the the iron cage helm is probably best for uh 
y you, but you could put that helmet on your cat. Oh, that's right. Oh, I almost forgot about equipping my cat with stuff. Yeah. So you can't equip most things on your cat. So in order to switch over to your cat, uh, click on your cat underneath your health. Ah, uh, okay. It's been a little yeah. while. Yeah. Uh, but you're giving. Oh, did you add helmets to it? Because I thought it was just trinkets that you could add before. Uh. Yeah, it used to be just trinkets, but I thought it would be it, it would be funnier to put hats on hats things. Hats on things. Hats on cats. <laughs> hats on cats. So now your cat has a helmet. So if you like cats with helmets, buy my cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Okay, so this might be a good a good uh, a term time to turn into the werewolf. But oh, but I got... you're you're really strong. You pr you probably won't have to wolf up in the first level. Yeah, the the nice thing about the first level is it definitely gives you that plenty of time yeah. to. Uh, to, to, to like learn your, your character. Ooh, so now I've yeah. got a dead body so I could cannibalize. Yeah, so um, werewolves start with the ghoul quirk, which means you get a little bit more sustenance from mm -hmm. uh, corpses. So wouldn't be a bad idea to eat that corpse a little bit later. Your and, inventory isn't overflowing right now. Right, and when I, when I eat it, I will gain six to 11 life, but I will lose one attack and one uh, accuracy. <laughs> Those, uh, those stats actually refer to um, uh, what is it? Uh, the crafting. So when you, if you craft a weapon out of that corpse, you're gonna get those debuffs oh, so on that there, weapon. Oh, so there's no negative to eating the dead bodies. No, there's not. There's really no downside. If um, most things that you eat, if they have like a, a brain and culture, it'll give you a MP debuff. But... That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to remember but... what the debuff was. That's just to maybe put in a life lesson that maybe don't eat so many corpses, kids. Right, don't eat as much sen <laughs> sentient life. Yeah. Ooh, and Ooh a poking stick. A poking stick, huh? <laughs> eh, it's weaker, but it's got that nice speed. So, like, I'm used to dealing with move speed because I right. because move speed impacts the uh, wizard's yeah. ability to attack. And um, with uh, with werewolves, you're kind of more focused on your defensive stats. Right. Ooh, nice turkey leg. Uh, one of my favorite things about this game, obviously, is the flavor text uh, in all these things, like uh, leg of a mythical being, a turkey leg. A whole uh, one has never been seen, and yet here is the leg. Hadley, Hadley and I uh, did the did the uh, did the flavor text together. Like um, we 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 worked on like Hadley did all of the all of the script writing this game. Um, and I needed some placeholder stuff for like the items and stuff, so I did a bit of the um, of, of the de writing descriptions. But it's really a product of the two of us trying to make each other laugh, right? Which is where you get the best stuff. <laughs> yeah, which is where you get like all the best stuff. Ooh, can't, that that knife will be useful to you later on, probably. Oh, is an offhand weapon, maybe? Yeah. I have um, iron, uh, wait, iron throwing knife or iron knife? So this is one to say. So throwing knife is a is a dedicated offhand weapon. Right. You can you can still put something in your offhand and hit with it, but you can throw the throwing knife. Which gotcha, is, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, this would just give um, me can opener, which would be another ability. Yeah, if you're up against like uh, an android or a robot later, cat killed a mouse. Very good. I was wondering what was going on. I saw <laughs> something running around in there, and I didn't see where it was. Um. <laughs> You also have uh, an herb in your inventory that can cure poison, which might. I saw that. Yes, I have yeah. these beautiful herbs. So, so uh, you can eat the herb uh, in a level to give you like a poison shield. Uh huh. So you can like pre-prescribe for poison. Oh, that's cool. Uh, or you can give it to your cat and it'll act like catnip and increase your cat's speed a little bit for a little while. Oh, that's. See, there's always little, and that's another little detail that you've added to yeah. your game. Is there's Just, a lot of a lot of hidden stuff in there. Yeah, there's a lot. There's lots of little weird dumb shit. Okay, so what do you got? You got down the hatch, offhand barrage, and buff step. Tax speed up after quick step seems like probably the best choice here. That actually does seem pretty good. Uh, offhand barrage is really fun, but I, I, if you find a shield or something, you probably won't want to use. I like that your you say. Anymore. I like that you say barrage. 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 <laughs> It's probably barrage. actually barrage, but we've just bastardized it, and it's barrage now. And barrage sounds sexier. In American, I'm giving you a barrage. Don't save and quit. Why did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, it's a little windy here. It's okay. You almost got blown over. <laughs> the, my door, my door shut. There's oh, a wind ghost. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I thought you fell over. Oh god, there's a lot of guys. Okay, yeah. So now is probably where I'm gonna start. 
wolf forming. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh. Ooh. Oh, look at how Hit buff him. I am. Get him. Who do you think? Lizard Get person him. or the mudman? Um gonna, lizard person focus you could probably kill with your next hit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. My cat'll do some damage though. Boom. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> the mud person Boom. just noticed you because it's very slow. Boom. <laughs> and then I can quick step up here. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. You just ran out of wolf juice. Okay, I'm getting some wolf juice back. Yeah. Boom. Dude, I just wrecked those. I wrecked all those guys. Dude, you hit that guy so hard. You hit that guy so hard, his loincloth fell off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. So accuracy down. So really, no no gains from this loincloth. <laughs> Very little gains. No, it's an itchy loin cloth from a lizard man. It's yeah, probably not. It's probably not worth much. Boom. Ah, uh, oh, you freaking snake. Yeah, the snakes are tough, but their corpses are extra good. Extra tasty. Yeah. Yeah, that's your cat for you. My cat, the, I love my... I, the sidekicks in this game are super clutch. Yeah, they've been there since the beginning. Um, one of my favorite roguelikes is Azure Dreams. It, mm -hmm. it is a roguelike for the PlayStation 1. Uh -huh. And it's kind of like a, a Pokemon roguelike mixed up with a dating sim. Oh, you've told me about that before. Yeah, it's it's extremely like a, a me thing. I don't know if too many people really enjoy it, but I love it. I'm super... I'd never heard of it before you. So. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's it was it was super like influential to me as a kid because it right. was just like this impossible game that was so incredibly deep. But now now it's like showing its age a little bit. But I still love it, and I loved having a monster companion the whole time. So I kind of brought that over into. It's nice to have into friends. Hex. Yeah, it's nice to have friends, and like it gives you. It gives you like a connection to something in this world that isn't just something to murder. Right, exactly. <laughs> in a game like this too, where it's single player, it's it's yeah. you need that like you need something to kind of make you when it's like a long, lonely night playing this game, you need some like you need a friend. Yeah, and the pets kinda of surprise you. Ooh, snake corpse. Alright. I think I'm gonna eat a snake corpse. Oh, it's I think me you some... should hold what? I think you should hold on to it, because you could forge your snake into a snake sword and get a little more accuracy out of it. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll have some crystal residue then. Mmm, crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh yeah, you're a little... I think I'm gonna... Well, I'm gonna eat this, because I need some I need some MP. I'm not gonna just get hit to get that back. <laughs> the donut? I'll just do this. So I like to use my... So the nice thing is, you're given two potions at the start of every level. If you don't yeah. use them, you get crystal residue, which gives you a little... Like, as you can see now, I'm getting a little regen. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's not as good. Ooh, that was a lucky drop. What did I get? Oh, uh, you got some. You got some leggy wraps. But I got this. So, yeah, you also got the metal. So, uh, metal is gonna increase. I think your offense and defense a little bit. Yep. So that's pretty nice. And I get valor. Um, yeah. Oh, it's just that's just the that's the actual increase. Okay, yeah, that's cool. just the thing. Okay, cool. Um, so the leg wraps will lower your evasion, but. You don't necessarily want evasion uh, because when you get hit, you gain MP. But they'll raise my move speed. But is that super clutch for me? It's not. It's not super clutch for you. Uh, your dash cut is going to use a little bit of move speed. Right. Secret area that yeah. contains nothing. It's huge. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, you're going to have more stuff in there. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes the map just like you know has a has a corner to it that isn't used and i like to just let people look at it uh-huh <laughs> sometimes enemies get trapped in there and it's a little bit of an arena but right right i just like that it's there hmm butcher or i don't know if i care i use my offhand barrage a lot uh but hustle, like all of all of the wolf quirks are really good i feel like the, like my thinking here is like I might, I, chances are good I'm going to get rid of my offhand weapon at some point. So, like, I might not even have these abilities at some point. Right. Hustle Wolf is just so, like, you can you can go pretty ham on enemies with Hustle Wolf. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. Sorry, I go to go to save and quit because I see the little save icon, and I'm like, well, I gotta mm. do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck, what did he just throw at me? The little web? Yeah, he got web, dog. Little web, son of a bitch. You All can right. probably quick step out of it, but... Oh, yeah, true. I'm going to do this. I'm yeah. going to do this. And go wolf form. Wolf time. And then I'm going to go like that. Oh, oh I missed. missed. Boom. Everyone's missing. And then I so this floor might be a little tough for you because, like, not probably extremely tough, but 
Um, the enemies here are weak against magic. And I do not have any of that. You don't have any magic. I got fucking knives I can throw at them, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like the, uh, the, uh, the emergent storytelling in this game is very good. You did a great job with that. Oh, thanks, man. Especially, like, it just... it. This is a game that it does not put its emergent storytelling. And I don't think most games that are that really have a lot of emergent storytelling tend to. Oh, frick. Whew, wow. That guy just comboed the fuck wow. out of you. <laughs> Damn, maybe you dude. should put some things, put some consideration into the uh, move speed. Yeah, maybe. Jesus. Uh, but I, I, you don't, you don't shove the, um, the like emergent storytelling in your face. You really got to like, you got to use your, your, your mind. You know, you got to use your creativity and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and your uh, imagination a little bit to to fully appreciate it. Yeah, I like I like that about about video games. I think that's a cool thing that games do is just you know give you. Well, so like I, we kind of ride the line because like Hadley has you, a you has have a, a, you have this stuff over here that helps you with it, and then yeah. there's like all the flavor text and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, ooh, another another one cloth. Lucky you. Oh wow! Look at that. Would you look at that? Loin cloths for days. <laughs> uh, you you can actually combine your two loin cloths to make a masterwork loin cloth. Oh yeah. Is yeah. It, is it any good? <laughs> um, it'll make you real fast. Okay. I don't know. That <laughs> Might be I... good to have in your back pocket. <laughs> well, we'll see. If I find myself a, a store, I will do it. Fuck you. Ah, oh, come on. All right. I need to get punched a little bit, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you need to get roughed up a little bit. Oh, it's happening. I can quick step out of this, though. Nope, I can't. You can't quick step out of it. Oh, you can't? I actually implemented that. Sick. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Sorry. it's been long. I like that it's been long enough. That oh fuck. That you... I actually haven't played my own video game in like a month and a half. Uh -huh. um, and this is like. This is like really nice to be able to just kind of experience it and chill. I'm glad. I'm glad that we yeah. uh, we've been looking for a reason to just hang out and do some let's play in together anyway. So um, your uh, sprinkles is looking a little worse for wear. Little, you might want to throw a plant. Throw him a tree, wanna, maybe. I'd say throw him a poche. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna get them back. Like that's true. Just be oh beware of that red cap because that guy is bullshit. <laughs> All right. Um, damn, pushing me yeah. back. Uh oh. Yeah, and he's taking you in. Yeah. Slash through him. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah. It's oh, the potion. cops are here. It's potion time. <laughs> yeah, you hear them? Do you hear the cops? Yeah. <laughs> hoo, hoo. Oops. Dude, wrong button. Red cap, more like red cop. <laughs> Dude, these guys will fuck you up. Yeah, man. Red red caps are no joke. I, you know what I think? Another thing I really love about this game that you and Hadley did really well is you guys obviously uh, showed off your your uh, pretty thorough knowledge of of myth and fantasy creatures. Uh, A lot of that was me like scraping for new enemy ideas, that, just being like, yeah. That for for a few months, I tried to make one new enemy a day. Wow. Um, and not definitely not all of them made it in, but right, I wanted right. to just really expand the the roster a bit and I couldn't really find a place for red caps for like red caps as like a, a group mob mm -hmm. but um like making them the special like gate guardian of the mines really fit them right yeah I was gonna ask like did, did you use a lot of um a lot of like uh like did you know the names of like different items and stuff like that offhand or did you just like look stuff up I'm a nerd so I knew a lot of it. yeah <laughs> um uh, I did. I did like do a lot of like you know uh, Wikipedia dives into like legendary weapons and stuff. Right. Right. Um, All right. I'm gonna do okay. this just because you said I can. Yeah. So that'll give you the master <laughs> one. <club. laughs> yeah. I'm gonna make that. Why not? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna make a snake sword. All right. Yeah. So sword plus snake eagle snake sword. Okay. So that ups your accuracy a good chunk. Oh yeah. Holy shit. I'm into it. Yeah. Wow, look at it. Oh, cool. All yeah. right, so what else can I make here? I real like if I had infinite time to work on this video game, I would love uh I, I would love to like make it so, you know, the the item shapes were a little different. Uh-huh. Like for different if you if if you had like a if you had like a snake 
sword, it would look a little different. Right. I don't have yeah. infinite time. That's a lot of I work. I can imagine it. That's a lot I of work. I can imagine it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm, do I want to make fancy stuff so I can sell it later, potentially? So or, or, or should I keep green... this pumpkin? You, that pumpkin's good eaten. You could make the green pumpkin stick, and that would let you, um, like, cast a viney spell from it. Mm -hmm. um, but that, like, combining that pumpkin with stuff is not going to give you good gear. Yeah, like, I'm looking at it right now. I'm just like, eh. The ability is pretty good. Um, uh, grasping vines is a pretty good ranged attack, but you already have your knife, so. yeah. If you wanted to like roll the dice on a new random item, you could combine the stick and the leggings. The stick and the legging. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Hold on, I'm looking at so, this. What we got? Yeah. Green pumpkin effigy. Oh, that's so cool. You, so you could put that in your offhand and cast grasping vines, but that would take up MP, and you need MP to be a wolf. Yeah. So the knife is probably your best bet. All right, let's get a so, let's let's gamble. Ooh, you got a you got a wizard staff. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I'll sell that. Oh. I'll sell that at some point. I want to sleep. And he also picked up a cheeseburger earlier. Yeah, I got to eat some cheeseburgers soon. I think. <laughs> yeah. I, I... Uh, every time you jump into a into a gate, you'll regain a little bit of HP and MP. Yeah, but not enough. <laughs> but never, never, never. Uh, enough. I haven't gone in here yet. Oh, nothing. That's where you started. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so I've seen everything. Cool. Yeah. Let's get the frick out of here. I always appreciate the mini map, the Diablo mini map that you can keep up constantly. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Oops. I have it go away when you take your finger off the M button yeah. because I didn't I didn't want people to like live in the mini map. Right, right. Because whenever there's a mini map in anything, I'm always looking at it all the time. That's what I'm thinking with Diablo is like, I just, I'm yeah. constantly using it. All right. Chance of no cooldown for quick steps. Not bad. I feel like butcher again. I feel like I want butcher. Um, man, you're getting butcher and offhand barrage all the time. Yeah. Like <laughs> the game kind of wants me to take those. I don't I don't know what the odds are. Cool step is really fun, but it doesn't always work out. Yeah. I think uh, butcher is probably, I'd like to increase the chance of getting healing items. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay. Here. This is where things are going to get. Do you have any items uh, stored away? So I got myself a donut. I, I mean, like in the mega chest. I don't know. You know, let me check that. Let's Maybe see. past Paul has. Let's see what we got. Past something. Paul. All right. I got myself a loot. Oh, all right. Uh, make myself faster and fire damage. Got a little bit of accuracy. And then this dope yeah. sword. Oh, yeah, dude, that's a very slow sword, but it does so much damage. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you think, Kev? Um, I mean, none yeah, of the yeah. stuff is super better than what you already have. No. So this chest here, as Kevin and I are, we're on a boss level here, level four. Yeah. Uh, this chest is where you can dump items uh, for between playthroughs. Yeah. And if you're hardcore, you don't have to use it. Yeah. <laughs> but if you have too many items and you want to have fun later, you can definitely <laughs> use it. <laughs> you guys should heal up before this. Yeah, battle. you're gonna you're about to fight a boss, so I say, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Too late. Now you're good. Potion. Now you're good. Should I have fruit of wisdom this, it, or should I just take the hits and get my MP that way? Take the hits. This is actually a pretty uh, easy one for werewolves to do, since. Skeletal Titan's gonna summon a bunch of little dudes to just kind of beat on you. Right. Like I'm gonna. Oh, he punched me. Yeah. Punched me with a sword. Sword punching. All right. So you can just ignore that skeleton and let him build your MP up. Yep. And just whack on this dude. Okay. Mm. All right. So many, many people have requested that I nerf that move, but yeah. I love it, and I probably will. Next, next update. I'm still. I've been away from the game for a while, and I'm and I want to do like one more update, one or two more updates before it's a year old. Yeah, I'm gonna kill one of these skeletons so that I'm not getting fucked with. Oh man! Oh, yeah. oh, well, that's that backfired on me because he ended up killing his own skeleton. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna lose my form now. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're making steady progress. Um, All right. I guess I'll just keep fight and he's going to go into crazy once, mode once you get to half it uh their their shield's gonna yeah. explode off and now you're gonna do more damage and he's gonna be aggro as fuck yeah. all right so probably got to give myself a little more time to become oh. a werewolf 
probably drink a Scotia Poche as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh, oh, getting blanky. Yep. Yeah. I know I, I know I could use the numbers, but I'm just an inventory <laughs> man at heart. Oh no, I turned back. Okay. You got okay. this. You got this. I'm gonna get punched a little bit more. Uh, I think I should heal. Um. I'm at 20, and I don't know where my cat is. Uh, your cat is here. stealthing above you. Um, I. You could you could chomp down on the donut. Yeah, you're not gonna beat this thing With, in yeah, in two turns. I think I gotta heal up. Eat, eat a safety donut. And... and I got some MP back, which is nice. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. did I? Okay, I didn't de wolf yet. You're you're doing fine on MP. Um, getting a little beat up. You getting a little blanky. Um, dash through him. That way, you're not taking all that abuse. True. Oh, done. That was a dope way to finish him, though. <laughs> yeah. Fucking cleaved in two. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck yes. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> and and now hurts. and now in in Zelda fashion, I mm -hmm. get my additional potion per level. Uh, D wolf, so you're not wasting MP. Oh yeah, good call. There you go. Uh, yeah, so you get like your quote unquote heart up at this point. Yeah. And I'm gonna use it on myself, although my kitty cat's a little beat up too. Yeah, you could throw sprinkles. Um, maybe a maybe a jerky or something like you i feel like you really want to hold on to that kitty treat yeah, until until mid like until, boss battle or something yeah you can even tell sprinkles to like um if you right click on sprinkles it'll change their ai yeah to defensive yeah so defenses defensive means they're always going to run unless they're cornered yep and offensive means they're always going to attack um brain means if they're low on health they're going to run away right but if they're if they have more than half their health, they're going to attack. Yeah. Um, uh, but they won't run away if you're dying. If you're dying, they'll always come to your rescue. Right. Because they love you. Because they love you. Like a good committed, a good committed animal friend. Like a good cat. What do you what do you say we take a little break? <laughs> sure. And we'll be right. We'll be back. Well, I guess we'll put up another episode, but we'll just take a break. So this isn't like an hour long thing. Yeah, sounds good. All right. We'll be back and we'll go on to level five. <laughs>